and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Twisted Sin. This is a Twisted Fate Lee Sin deck. People have been asking about some Lee Sin, and so wanted to play this deck again. It's a deck we've played a few times now. I, I enjoy playing this deck because there's so much card draw, so many decisions that you get to make all the time. Um, but we've uh, we switched some things up with it. First of all, um, adding a one drop. I don't know if we really played a one drop in this deck before, but man, I am on like a pool shark binge. Uh, I've been just super impressed with this card. And so, you know, why not more ways to draw cards, right? We're going to get some pool sharks in here, more ways to get those Twisted Fate leveled up. Plus, we can, you know, bounce pool shark with retreat. That sounds that sounds fun. I'm for that. So, um, yeah, we're getting that in as our one mana card. So I felt like we need some more one mana cards anyway. Um, but yeah, we want to cast a lot of spells so we can level up Lee Sin, and basically we're using Lee Sin as our finisher for a deck with tons of card advantage. Because, like, Pool Shark can draw a card, Black Market Merchant can, um, I the Dragon, you know, can make some Draglings to make some extra cards, you know, Pilfer Good draws cards, we have Shadow Assassin drawing, obviously our Twisted Fate can draw, our Sprayfin can, Deep Meditation can, like, so much of our deck is card advantage. So that's what we're going to try to do. We're kind of going to try to just grind the opponent out with card advantage and use Lee Sin's ability to uh, Dragon's Rage some things to finish the game out. All right, so here we go. We've had we've had some uh, requests for a Lee Sin deck. So we're going to play some Lee Sin Twisted Fate. All that Twisted Sin. Here we go. Going to go play five games over in ranked. Get our rank up on Ezreal Karma, another deck that has a good amount of card advantage. Hopefully we can have more card advantage than they can have. Hopefully. Will of Ionia gone. Sprayfin. I like Sprayfin. I'm going to just replace it, though. We want to find nab cards. Nab cards would be very good. Especially how nab cards don't... Um, don't dig our opponent towards their uh, towards their champions anymore. Game. Go on then. Hey, Agent Iowa. Good afternoon. Yeah, Sonic Wave is good with Lee Sin. I did end up cutting the Sonic Wave for a second retreat because um, it is good with Lee Sin, but it's not good with very much else in the deck. Like maybe like a Twisted Fate with uh, you know a Twisted Fate with. Um, Quick attack. There you go. With quick attack, it can be useful there. All right, so I went pool shark last turn because I was looking for I was looking for and hoping to draw. Um, like a pilfer goods here or a black marker merchant. I guess black marker merchant we wouldn't be able to cast, but pilfer goods is really the card. Keep up, keep up. Man, I hope we can do damage to them. say I could see those blocks happening. No. You got us. You got us. That's not bad. It's 
not bad. Um, hmm. Maybe I should just make it. Rain from a cloudless sky. I want to. Um, I want to be able to play Twisted Fate and have like these three mana cards available as well whenever we play that card. Like right now, we just had six mana, so I couldn't have Deny or Twin Disciplines to protect it. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Or played one. Something for all. If I would have waited one more turn, could have had two protection spells. What you got? Get excited on the three two. On the three two. Okay, I'm going to use. I'm going to use twin disciplines, keep that alive. And now I can play Eye of the Dragon. And uh, I'll have room to get. This back, uh, the the mana back since we cast that twin disciplines. Um, Deny is not bad at protecting Lisa either. I had eight mana, not nine, so I don't want to go Lee Sin yet. I'll just play the expensive Deep Meditation, pass some turns. And if they want to use Mystic Shot here, we have Twin Disciplines and then Deep Meditation is will then be three mana next turn. It is nice being able to protect Twisted Fate. That is nice. Lee sends at 6 out of 7. Four out of eight. Might be five, six, seven. Likely going to have to deny something to keep Twisted Fate alive this turn, which then means Deep Meditation. I guess Static Shock. Oh, sure. I guess, well, that is probably the best card for me to deny. Keep their Ezreal from leveling up and stuff. And then... If we do cast Deep Meditation... Or if we like, if we cast deny, deep meditation will still be three mana the next turn. Okay, there we go. Is that what I wanted to say? All right, so it's at five. Beginning a turn will be number six, and then deep meditation will be seven, eight. All or nothing. I am prepared. What is gained when you return malevolence? 
Nice, another black market merchant. Don't blink or you miss me. Alright, let's make it 7 8 first. Looks like I'm on a street. <clears throat> hmm. So there's no use of playing Warning Shot right now. Oh, just blue card. Instincts are that I'm supposed to trust. Twisted fate. Blue as the serpent. I mean, my instinct is have retreat, bounce this, but remember, this is a play. Plunder is a play trigger, so we don't get to uh, do the um, the return part and put black market merchant back in play. Gold card, the Ezreal. Like, gold card, red card. Yeah, should kill both of those. Even if they level up Ezreal, it'll still be three and it'll stun that. Two Ezreal Mystic shots? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So we're going to bounce our own Twisted Fate, and now all of their Ezreals are out of their deck. Because these are going to... Like, those are just going to, um, you know, dissipate because they won't have a target anymore. And this one's dying. So they're going to be out of Ezreal. Oh my gosh. Hey Apaka, doing good? How you doing? And no, so we're not gonna return Black Market Merchant. <clears throat> Cause it's a play trigger. time. ETs. Alright, so they have no Ezreals left in their deck. So it looks like we just gotta watch out for Karma. I fight with my spirit, not my uh, we got pretty good chance of winning this game, I'd have to say. Pretty good chance. Sorry, Lee Sin. He's taking a backseat to Twisted Fate. Blue as the serpent. Twisted Fate too good. What else you got? A uh, card that's great with uh, Lee Sin, Jump Lump. We can get those Mushroom Clouds. Help Lee Sin out even more. One mana draw two, I guess. If you say so, we'll do one mana draw two. Head. Let 
your instincts. Oh crap. Oh crap. I guess we'll play one of those. Gain a mana. And instinct is no substitute for planning. Alright, that's all I got. For now. For now. <laughs> yeah, one mana deep meditation is kind of broken. Uh, sure. We get Lee Sin level up. Animation. <laughs> yeah, but it is kind of. Oh, I could have. I could have used some good Teemo. Emo. Man, that would have been a great Teemo emo when they tried to double uh, Mystic Shot, and then I bounced my own thing. Or I say Teemo emo, but that's uh, um, Fizz. That would have been a great Fizz emo time. Just nah. They have seven cards left. Wonder how they're supposed to win with seven cards. Yeah, no, I need I need to use my emotes more. Yeah, I could use the I should have used the Elise whenever I was killing the Karma. I wanted their chump womp to do the lethal damage. Alright, Lee Sin got to do stuff. He got to he got to do a dragon kick. Stretch those legs. <laughs> Life is fleeting. That's a good name for that uh, daily goal. Daily quest. Attack with ephemeral units. Life is fleeting. Yeah, the emotes in this game are are awesome. They really are. I I wish that people didn't get as mad about them. Oh yeah, remember our pool shark? Our pool sharks were great last game. All right, let's hit Black Market Merchant or Pilfer Goods. Let's get a free card. Now, spray thin. Don't always get a free card. When you go turn one pool shark. That's the, the turn one pool shark life. Sometimes, free card. Other times, not so much. Uh, let's see. So I could go Warning Shot Pilfered Goods. That would put Claw of the Dragon in play. And then we can see what we want to do with the one mana. We could play Pool Shark. Sure, let's do that. Okay. Not bad. I know, you can't hesitate on the emo game. You can't. The, okay, yeah, the Braum when the game's over and you're saying bye, that one's kind of rude. I under, Yeah, that one's kind of rude. Um. Alright, well we got Deep Meditation. Oh, 
See, look at that. That pool shark just got us a, a bunch of new cards. I think I just let that die. Where are you at? You're at four out of seven. I could re I could retreat, put that back into my hand, and then use the return and put a Shadow Assassin into play. Or I can cast Pilfered Goods. Maybe we do this. Maybe we retreat. See, this is why this is why Pool Shark's good. You stand on cold shot. You get even more free cards. Okay, we need to play two spells. We can probably play two spells. Snap some first. Thirteen. Dude, isn't isn't Pool Shark just like super underrated? All right, what are we discarding? I thought that that would probably get them to play the Heimerdinger. Um, I don't know what to discard. I don't want to discard any of these. Uh, Sprayfin, I guess? Man, I guess Sprayfin. Unforeseen outcome. Stun the Vi. Hold it, partner. Oh, I love I played Pool Shark on turn one. Invention to date. <laughs> I play Pool Shark on turn one all the time. But I also do that with I build decks with millions of two drops. We have 14 two mana cards. Yeah, this is difficult to know what to discard. I'm killing Heimerdinger, and I'm, ca I'm casting Get Excited to kill Heimerdinger. Next turn, we have eight mana. Man, I'm sorry, Lee Sin. I just can't keep you. I'm sorry. Sorry, Lee Sin.
Because, yeah, I, I feel like we need to Will of Ionia this Vi. Yeah! <laughs> so this definitely resolves now. Might as well play this to draw the card. So they're taking four, that puts them down to five. Um, Within my grasp. Yeah, I think I think we sacrifice that to do. Man, I don't know, doing two more damage, but we're leveling, the problem is we're leveling up high. That's the problem is just leveled up high. But they have like deny. They have like deny on Will of Ionia. That was worth two mana. Or two damage. I don't know if that was worth two damage. Okay, so three of their cards in hand are random expensive cards they made with Flash of Brilliances. Ouch, ouch. We took every single one of their get excited. Yeah, so the one of those um, one of those flash of brilliances made that gain seven. You cannot escape. It's too late for you. They're gonna heal. So nine, four. That's five. Oh, we can't kill them. All right. So they go to five. Twin Disciplines, like, plus three, plus zero would be nice, but I'm worried that that wouldn't work. Yeah, I mean, but how... How are they not going to have removal for one of these things, right? Like, if I do Twin Disciplines plus three, plus zero, like, how are they not going to have removal? I don't, I don't really see this working, but we're going to try. I'm putting it on, like, my least valuable thing. Ooh. They didn't have removal. Wow. Um. One girl wrecking crew. First. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, this is a game now. Jeez. Huh? 
Alright, was that better emo game? Is that better emo game? That was... That better emo game. Oh, uh, not sure if they drew deny that last turn. My twin disciplines was burst speed, so... We didn't really play anything for them to deny before. They... They probably had it. Like, I would think that they had the deny in hand. Yud! What's up? Thanks for joining. Those of y'all that don't know, Yud makes all of my uh, thumbnails for YouTube. Does a, just does an amazing job on those. Sejuani Swain. I mean, Will of Ionia is good against both Swain and Sejuani, so maybe I keep it, but it's it's like not something that I would need until turn 5, turn 6. Guess I'll keep it, but then therefore I'll get rid of Retreat, but um, it's hard for me to get rid of Retreat with how good re Retreat is with like Black Market Merchants. Pool Shark. Pool shark, you're not always a winner. Fire knows it's mm. Just kills merchant. Huh. I wait on merchant? Yeah, I wish I would have just done plus three plus zero with this right now. My hand's kind of bleh. What? What is that? Poor mother's call. Smell that bark, fear. I'm always up for a round or two. What? Gonna be a little bit before we can uh, cast this War Mother's Call. I don't feel like we're the best War Mother's Call deck. We're not really designed for that. We have some good cards though Shadow Assassin, Zap Scrapin, like even Lee Sin. You wanna take more damage? That's cool. I can do more damage. Ah, uh, that's not cool. Dang, not cool. So Swain's already leveled up for them. Let the flames take you. Alright, we've drawn all three warning shots. Kind of the problem with playing warning shot is sometimes you just draw all of them. Need him. Oh, I only played one? Oh, because the the other thing didn't. Ugh, only counted as one spell. Alright, so this turn, because um, the retreat, you know, like even though we cast retreat, uh, it didn't, it fizzled, so it didn't count. All right, this turn I want to save three mana. Oh man, or we could play Lee Sin. But if, if I save three mana, we get to War Mother's Call next turn. I, 
guess we should just play Lee Sin, though. Lee Sin can block uh, Swain. Swainer. You don't think War Motor Skull is going to be great? Well, it will, it will. Gosh, I have to... Let's see, wait. So I have to... I can give it Challenger and Barrier. Um, but I gotta cast four spells total to have this thing level up. Nab to Conflict is all in the mind. Retreat here. A wise retreat. Black market merchant again. Retreat with Black Market Merchants, pretty sweet. And then put in City Breaker. For one mana. That's better than Ember Maiden. I don't I don't think I pass. No, I don't I don't pass. I definitely I definitely put one of these into play. Patience. This is gonna do a lot of damage to me, it's gonna stun all my stuff. I think I do City Breaker. The thing that the thing that Ember Maiden does it kills my 2-1, but it does get a damage on a Swain. It makes it easier for me to start killing a Swain with these Death's Hands. Okay, okay, that's a card. That's a card. Um... I don't know yet how I'm going to use that card, but that's a card. <sighs> Nine mana. I think I'm going to use that with... I'll see this killing Leviathan. Nothing escapes my life. If they have another Leviathan, I am out of luck. I lose. Oh, that's probably also me being out of luck and losing. Oh. 
Just I just have to block the Swain with this. Which is unfortunate. But this is gonna get frostbitten. Despite everything again. Okay, this game is over now. Should be over at least. Time to kill everything. By everything, I mean all of my stuff. Cannot be conquered. That could be great. That could be great. That could win it for me. No. Won't win it for me. Um. Down to six. Is all in the mind. We still got this. I will not Down to five. My land. Prepare yourself. Come on, put him down to one. No, oh yeah, that's true. They're gonna just kill that thing. Ugh, so close. Oh, come on, we're so close! No! Okay, three! What are you doing? He's so close. Why do they have to gain three? This has been the craziest game. Get out of my homeland. The dragon has fire after all. This has been the craziest game. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate. Let's go. That D meditation's a great draw. Conflict is all in the mind. So this is gonna challenge, it's gonna Dragon Rage, right? Yeah, Dragon Rage enemies to be challenged. Just making sure I didn't need Barrier for the Dragon's Rage. So this is gonna be them dying. Yeah. Wow. 
What a game! What a game. That was incredible. Lee Sin. Lee Sin. Oh, man. <sighs> yeah, I can't believe we actually won that game. Man, kind of need a, a little bit of a breather there after that one. Man. It's like, this game is so amazing. Oh, that was yesterday's water. This is today's water. Oh, yeah, how about that War Mother's Call? Oh, my gosh, that War Mother's Call was perfect. Getting the Hitting the lease in. That was perfect. Dang. Yeah. War Mother's Call. That's why, that's why you put Black Market Merchant into your deck, so you can cast War Mother's Call when you need it. It's like, what card do you need? Who knows? Or we'll figure that out later. All right, let's get rid of these two. We'll keep Shadow Assassin at Pilfer Goods. We're, this is definitely a slower hand, but their their deck's really slow too. Like this is a, a deck built on a removal. Um, so you know, I like that we have all this card advantage. We could simply cast Claw of the Dragon. That's not something that I want to do. So game plan is oh my gosh i mean de deep meditation you're okay but you are cost a lot of mana okay okay what fearsome mm. you cannot escape still fearsome All right, now we've cast two two spells in a turn, so all these deep meditations are turned on. But we probably want Twisted Fate in play first, right? So Twisted Fate Gold Card is kind of my best play, but I want to see what they do with removal. First, like I let's see if they can, we can maybe keep them from killing Twisted Fate. It's that's probably impossible. Their whole deck is removal. We're probably not keeping them from from killing Twisted Fate. Nope. Deal me in. I need more mana. Another card wouldn't be bad. Soak it in. Twin Disciplines. Nailed it. I'm level up this Twisted Fate pretty fast. I don't want to just like start playing a whole bunch of card draw stuff immediately. I don't want to give them the impression that we're going to level it up that fast. I don't want them to know. Yeah, next turn. Definitely leveled up. Why are you here? Here to block. if uh, we can still keep Twisted Fate alive. So I'm going to cast a warning shot right here. Just so that'll be my second spell of the turn. So Deep Meditation costs three mana. It's possible I don't even need to do that.
Maybe I shouldn't have done that, because I probably just want to double pill for goods. I mean, it, it's fine. Now, this game's heating up. Do you need to draw something that costs two or less mana? Preferably spell. Okay. Make it rain? Mm. Yeah, because like, if I wouldn't have done that, let's see, then I could, I could do that right now for blue card. Now I'd have to make it rain for blue card. But I'd rather Dreadweight deck hand and... I guess so. Yeah, it's kind of awkward drawing all these deep meditations early. It's hampered our ability to do other things. I would say, but we, we're still still doing pretty good. Looks like trouble. Hmm. I wish I would have just cast Mega Rain and killed that thing instead of getting this in play. Hey, Wakanda. Uh, they're just gonna nab everything now. Oh my gosh. They nabbed my Black Market Merchant and my Pilfered Goods. They are living, they are living the life. Really living the life. Everything costs zero. I don't do very much of the mobile version. I don't do any on stream. I play some of the mobile version. Go on, then. Um, like, I'll, I'll play some. Uh, especially, like, later at night. Yeah, they definitely live the life there. I think they just spent, yeah, they spent exactly 20 mana worth of cards that turn. Just run while you can. 20 mana worth of cards. Clear off. You got legs. You them. No, blocked the wrong one. I don't know anything about game sound being distorted. There is some kind of game sound distorted. It's probably, probably on your end, I guess. Not sure about that. This is a neat little trick. For two mana, um, using their tree to draw a card and do two damage to all their stuff. That's pretty cool. Be nothing left when I'm done. Yeah, that was pretty cool. We play in <clears throat> Alright, so Riptide Rex is next turn. Well, that's gonna be a deep meditation probably. Oh no, they took Rex? Really? Of all these cards they took Rex? Come on. No, 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 no. It wasn't a 50-50 shot. This is just a non-champion card. That can take Deep Meditation, Twin Disciplines. It would take 
Like, they could have taken anything except for the Twisted Fate pick a card. They could have taken anything else. I'm always up for a round or two. Um, let's see. Three mana left. So I want to red card before I make it rain. And I guess it's just getting rid of, rid of one of these twin disciplines. Make it harder to kill Twisted Fate. Who says I don't see it? Hopefully they won't be able to turn on the plunder for the Rex. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. This'll send them running. Wait, that goal card? Oh, because the goal card happened first? Yuck. Alright, I'm not attacking. I don't want to trade those. It's not bragging if you could back it up. Oh, wait. No, I needed to attack and trade those. Because gold card's going to kill this thing. No, so that means they get to Riptide Rex. No, I need to attack. Uh... Hmm. Yay, yay. Clear off. I'll do. Something for all. How close does you're able to level enough? Four out of eight. Okay, I'm kind of running out of cards. I need to kill them. Are they going to pass back to me? Yeah, you don't want to pass me. No. No, 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 no. All right, so I don't get to play stuff before combat. Otherwise, they wreck. So... I probably want to play Shadow Assassin. It's a better attacker over Black Market Merchant. I suppose. Mm. I don't do a good job of listening to me. Three, six, nine, ten. Gotta play this so we can draw a card. We got twelve mana. What's the rush, huh? No sweat. Let's try to kill Ezreal first. If they don't block that I'm using like twin disciplines as, as my plus three plus zero. And 
idea. Like that—that that was my plan. If they didn't, if they didn't block Ezreal. Ezreal Mystic Shots. Ezreal is dead. That's pretty great drawing that Claws of the Dragon to give me another target for Riptide Rex. That's good. Come on, spread them out. Okay, good. They spread it out pretty good. So I'm only taking two. And I think that's just how that is. Okay. So what, everything dies? Everything dies. Dragon Rage slow or fast? Slow. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Three of dog. I'm sure hoping they can't turn on Plunder. Obviously. Can't turn on plunder. Hey, Swifty. Thank you. Hey, thanks for getting to Twitch. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for saying hi. Welcome to the channel. Man, these games that we're playing are... So close. Well, that turns on Plunder, but they don't have enough mana to cast that. Suspense. Oh my gosh, we're at two. That is two spells. 
think they were doing that to get this draggling. I have three cards, so I could cast Deep Meditation. Down to one. And then Lee Sin Dragon Kick. Wow. Down to one again. Ionia endures. Going down to one again. Oh man. Alright, four and O. Oh. Can we get the five O? Oh? We have played some amazing games here. Oh man, what do I think about adding adding Fizz to the deck? I don't I don't want to take out. I think whenever the first time I played this deck, I had one Fizz over. I had two Lee Sins because I wanted two Lee Sins, but um, finishing out games was kind of a problem, and I wanted a third Lee Sin, and so I took out Fizz. You definitely don't take out Twisted Fate at all. Twisted Fates, you know, you would play more than three Twisted Fates if you could. Um, but I was, yeah, I basically sort of wanted all the, the Lee Sins to end games. Okay, Karma Ezreal. I don't know. You're not bad, Claw of the Dragon. I'll keep you, but not perfect. I think I like this retreat against removal. Turn one Pool Shark. Hopefully hit Black Market Merchant or Pilfer Goods. Where do you stand on cold shots? I'm not afraid of turn one Pool Shark with this deck. Alright, well we didn't get it. Watch this. Hmm. Don't you wish we had one mana and we could have uh, the return for the Shadow Assassin? Wouldn't that be just amazing if we had if we had one one more mana? All right, those are gone. And hoping Pool Shark gets me a card to play this time. I'll take that. And I will take that trade. Hmm. Got me a warning shot. Uh, let's go blue card. Hopefully draw pilfer goods. Eyes open. I'm glad they let the blue card resolve so I can have twin disciplines protect this. Instead of using removal in response to the blue card. The order rewards its fate. Looks like trouble. Yep, that's good news. Not drawing fleeting Lisa in. That's that's good. No merchant, no pilfer goods. This far into the deck. I thought you'd never ask. Alright, 
that was an Ezreal Mystic shot, so they did get to put an Ezreal back into their deck. again. Okay, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that. Get rid of both of those. Not bad. Start doing the thinking emo back. Thinking emo. Yeah, I mean, it's possible they have deny. That's how it goes. It's a good, it's a good deny. The card I wish they didn't have. I don't think I play Lee Sin. I play Lee Sin. They could play Karma. Master yourself. All right, they can't play Karma anymore. Didn't want them to to resolve Karma. Not cool. Conflict is all in the mind. I fight with the dragon's fury. Those are not good cards. That was one of deep meditation. Okay, deep meditation's playable. I don't care about the side of the dragon at all. No. Worst case scenario. Extend your I don't know, maybe they just play Karma here. You get punished for that. There's there's no point in playing Eye of the Dragon, just waste mana. And they need all that mana. Conflict. Could be anywhere if you think about it. Just such a bad Will of Ionia. 
that worked out really well for them having Will of Ionia. And these cards are just not what I want to be drawing at all. Ugh. Yeah, well, what is conflict anyway? I will not hold that. One all four mana in case of karma. Okay, no karma. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. So now, now I have the dragon's not useless because we can get the uh, the draggling. So you'd think that looks weird tarting the lease in when it has the barrier. Why don't they just do the one damage to me? But they want to level up Ezreal. That's what they're going for. Leveling up Ezreal. So I'm going to bounce. Not let that target. Um, not let that target happen. It's also give me a second spell for Draggling. If I put Eye of the Dragon back in, is it better to put Eye of the Dragon back in and then get Draggling or draw a card? Because it's not like my next turn is that amazing. No, I'll get Draggling, but I'm not sure about that. Cool. I'm happy with that. Alright, I have a plan, and my plan involves... I think I got a plan. Plan involves them not having Will of Ionia, that's for sure. Uh, or that card. Oh, sweet. Still works. Nice. Alright, well, I wanted to go Dragon's Rage on the Ezreal, but they're not playing Ezreal, so... We gotta go Twisted Fate. Um, probably Red. Have zero mana kill, that thing. Never lost a fair game. I have zero denies in my deck. I'm not playing that card. I don't think it's very good against... 
the metagame. I don't think it's a good a good card right now. There are just a couple of decks that it's good against, but um, most every deck it's not. The decks that are that it is good against just play denies themselves, and we we've, we've been stealing our opponents denies. Um, this game we did a. a Poor job at um, Check me out. We did a really poor job at drawing black market merchants, didn't draw a single one of those. We only drew one pill for goods. And the pill for goods was not very good. Taking Eye of the Dragon, the worst card to take. Okay, let's see. Uh, if we give this a try. Very good chance I'm dead. But we gotta try. We gotta try. So I have to bounce Ezreal during combat. Oh gosh, they just have all this other stuff though too. Yeah, I'm dead. That was my plan was them not having Will of Ionia. That was my plan and they had Will of Ionia. The deck was stacked against us. Again. Bouncing my lease in for a second time. All right, so there we go. That's Twisted Sin. Um, so I couldn't I couldn't cast Will of Ionia in response to theirs because they just recast Ezreal, then attack with Ezreal, and I lose the game. I'd have to cast it during combat, but they had all those other things. Um, this deck was really fun to play. You know, like we we played some awesome games. Uh. You know, that last game, we didn't draw very well, but a lot of the other games, we did draw well. Like, you know, we, we, we were scraping by with some pretty epic wins. You can't complain about losing a, a close game. Um, you know, that's just, that's how it goes. All right. Uh, pretty, uh, yeah, pretty fun deck. I, I like the Pool Sharks. They did, they did awesome. Um, and yeah, this deck's just a lot of fun to play. I think after a nice hour and a half video, that's, that'll do it there. <clears throat> okay, anyway, that's it here for uh, Twisted Sin. Those of y'all that wanting wanting a Lee Sin deck, Go for this one. That was epic. Man, we didn't quite get the 5-0. You know, didn't quite get the, the 5-0. Um, I post all my 5-0 lists on, on Decks of Runeterra, and it's hard getting those 5-0 lists. We get so many 4-1s, and this was another 4-1. So close. So very, very close. Anyway, that's it here for Twisted Sin, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.